Here in the suburb of Mount Cook, New Zealand, the production facilities at 104 Wallace Street are in the final stages of producing Reggie's case files for its June 27th release. Jordan Rivers, to, um, the show star, is warming up for his final ADR session. I tried to get uh, Limba, Limba, Limbin, Limba, um, before the before the recording and before the filming. I don't record. I'm going for. I'm going to go piss. Don't go for False alarm. False alarm. Although a little bit come out when I am do my zip up though. <laughs> uh, you want to ask me a question? So Reggie's Case Files is about a psychotic PI who believes that he's living in a film noir. Uh, the world he inhabits is inhabited by himself only and no one else. It's an experimental film to say the least. It is um, a wholly original concept. Mama, mama. Mm. Not without my hat. Not without my hat. That's perfect. Not, Not without. Do that again. The Not... post-production process is a long one, and hat. as a result, lifelong Not friendships are developed hat. between the cast you, and crew. Yeah, you got to do it in the, accent, yeah, the, it in the character. Accent of character. That's I know because you're interrupting and I can't stay with it. I can't keep going. Okay. <clears throat> you ready now? Yes, now, yes, now we're ready. The <clears throat> production has attracted Not some of New Zealand's most hat. prestigious auteurs such as Wellington-renowned cinematographer Jesse Gonzalez. I believe that Reggie's case files will interfere with the path of popular culture in such a way that will derail human evolution. I think this, this web series will do irreparable damage to everything that exists, but it will entertain people in the meantime. Actually, I thought it was really well put together. I like the um, I like the co the comedic aspect of it. How it's just like him narrating the entire thing is just quite clever and obnoxious and clever again and obnoxious then clever again. So when they sent me the script, I was reading through it and I'm, you know, I'm amazed. I'm taken back and and I'm think you know, this is the story of my life. This is the first role where I can be myself. For Jordan Rivers, Reggie's case files not has been a liberating experience. But not without my hat, we guys hat. So you don't like that? That's ridiculous. I like it. Well, it's stupid. It's not no because it's not without my hat, and the audience is like, oh, this this guy is for real. This guy is talking to me, and I'm I'm watching. It's like he knows that I'm here. It's like Don't three. It's like three D, but with. Um, with my voice, right. hat, not without my hat. Yeah, well, they're, like, want, right? they're like, where is his yeah. hat? Yeah. Although we can't have the, the accent though. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Sorry. working on that. Sorry. I could be doing so much more. I could be doing a foley for a porno right oh, now. Oh, you could be doing foley for a porno. Exactly. Even the other members of the cast and crew have noticed a paradigm shift in Jordan's outlook. So Jordan struggles a little with the ADR process. Often he'll add lines which he didn't say on set, which can be very frustrating. We end up with a situation where he's talking on the, on the sound, but on camera he's just silent. But, I mean, he's okay, he's not terrible. I've worked with worse people on this show. It was definitely an experience working with him. Experience. <laughs> I think I liked him. I don't know that I remember him. Uh, he's certainly a, a very well-known member on set. Can I hold your microphone? No. Yeah, no. I want, then what is this People thing? Why do I have to have this? Uh, know their place with him. He doesn't uh, hold back as far as that goes. So you don't pop the microphone. Pop the microphone. I'll pop you. And uh, I look forward to working with him in uh, future projects. Like most professional actors, Jordan's pre-work routine is an arduous one. Uh, we're going to the studio when we're, we're going to record it. Uh, you know, I haven't had to do anything like this. Okay, it, uh... okay, the light is broken, but what we're doing here is we're recording everything. Thank you. Uh, Steven sits on his ass in here and he does fucking nothing. And then I do, I make the magic. I'm going to record, I'm going to record. I'm going to make the magic. I'm going to become Reggie. Reggie, and I'm just saying to myself, I said to myself, Reggie, 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 Reggie. And that's the voice. That's the, the, the sound that we're gonna use for it. Uh, if it's, it's a basic one. I mean, you, you're looking at like old cowboy movies, those kinds of things, uh, Marlon Brando. I mean, that's what we want in there. But for the whole thing, we need to, Make sure that you stay as yourself. 
be true to yourself. Stretch your body. Stretch your fucking body. And move with it, you know? So I have to, I'm, I'm breathing. And get out all the negative energy. Bring it down. Down. To the floor. And then sweep on the floor. Negative energy out. Through your anus. And then push it down the hole. Anus. Out. And that's how I'm preparing. You know? And right now I'm going there and I, you know, I could give it my all and that's how I get so good. As everyone prepares to move on to new projects, director Jonathan Harris hopes the cast and crew will look back on their experience on Reggie's uh, case files as a positive one. I hope people are uh, most of all uh, entertained by this show. Um, I certainly hope that it's successful because you know, we all need to pay our bills in this industry. It's a tough industry to succeed in. Um, and I think that uh, despite the fact that there are a lot of noir uh, films and series on at the moment, I think that uh, Reggie will stand out because it's, it uh, tries to be more like its uh, original forebears. I think there are a lot of modern noirs around, not so many of the old ones, and I think that, this, uh, that the audience will really enjoy this and people will remember this for a long time. I also hope that uh, you know, members of the cast and crew really enjoyed themselves on this project. They enjoyed working with me, and uh, you know, I, I wish them the best uh, for their future projects.